Yeah, so, uh, you know, at Freelance, like, uh, the biggest thing is, is there was a moment where I was trying to find myself and find my footing, and, and, you know, I was starting to win matches and pick myself up, but what was the match that I felt propelled me or got me to the next stage? And that would be A, my match with Isaias Velasquez, the first time we ever competed. Now, Isaias, um, gosh, I want to say, was this uh, maybe... August of 2016, I would have to go back into my records. But as I was working my way up the card, the deal was as I was wrestling Isaiah, and Isaiah was the ace of freelance, and uh, very rarely was he beaten. And um, I had wrestled Isaiah at Mondo Lucha, I believe, in a title match, and it was fine, it was great. But this time around, uh, yeah, I don't think, I, I think maybe. This was that type of match where when you have the homegrown guy or the, you know, like, that's your guy, you would assume that uh, he may, you know, I guess it was like the first time, in my opinion, when The Miz faced off against John Cena. It was more so a chance to show that he gets an opportunity with one of their top guys, but also just there to shut him up. And my first match with Isaiah, uh, in this case, uh, what it did for me is, so when he went for uh, the Hammer of Dawn, am I right on that one? I think that's what it's called. When he went for that, I slipped out the legs, folding prawn, and one, two, three, and the look of shock on the freelance faithful's face, like Corbin actually pulled, I mean, in my opinion, it was probably one of the bigger upsets and shocking wins because it was like, oh, Corbin's they're really doing this with Corbin. They're going to they're gonna push him. And again, in less than six months, I would be in a program for the championship. But this match really got me there. And that was the biggest thing. And it was this moment where, after the pin, I didn't duck out of the ring. I held up the three to him. You know, so like I held up like I had the three right in his face. And uh, the look of shock on his face, the look of shock on the, the fan's face, that was the moment that I feel really solidified me uh, in there. And uh, so I always appreciate that. I've always appreciated this match big time. And Isaiah and I would go on to wrestle again a few other times. Isaiah ended up taking the championship off of me for his second reign. So uh, I still uh, have a little bit of hard feelings for that. But also, uh, my matches with Isaiah, a number of times people have come up to me at freelance. Like a lot of the boys in the locker room always said something along the lines of like, that was, uh, you know, they were like, you really broke broke out workhorse Corbin, and when you when you have somebody that you do have really good chemistry with, and you wrestle, and you have a good match, that is exactly uh, kind of that's when you have those opportunities. You can kind of go above and beyond, as I like to say. But I also got a lot of great opportunities from from wrestling there. So uh, yeah, so that would be what I would say. I would say uh, that was the match that helped me break out at freelance wrestling was against Isaiah Velasquez.